Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the long awaited what is in my kids stocking for this year 2018. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get this video out but December has been pretty crazy as it usually is and is to be expected but I just um, had a lot of things going on and just didn't have time to film this video. I've had these things ready for the kids for a while now. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and actually film this video. So I'm sorry it's coming out quite late in December, but I hope that you still find it helpful and maybe just even entertaining to see what I'm getting my kids um, for their stocking this year. So before we get into the video, if you are new here, thank you for clicking on the video. Please consider subscribing down below. I do mummy kid lifestyle type videos. So if you're interested in that sort of content, please don't forget to subscribe before you X out. the video first I'm going to show you the actual stockings that I got for the kids this year you may have already seen this in my Christmas um, I think it's my Christmas haul decorate with me video um, so if you've seen that video you probably have already seen these stockings but I thought I would show you this in the video since it is about what I'm putting inside them so this is what the kids stockings look like for this year so they're this really nice plush creamy color stocking with this embroidered, is it embroidered or stitched? Um, what are they called? Stitched hollies, I think they're called, um, on the stocking in gold stitching. And this is really nice, good quality stocking. These stockings I got from TK Maxx and they were $16.95 um, each. So a little fun fact is that this is the first year that I've actually bought my own kids stockings. There's no particular reason why I haven't bought them stockings before. Um, I guess I was looking for like the perfect one. I wanted to get like it personalized, embroidered and things like that. But I just didn't want to pay the dollars um, that it cost to get that done. So I bought these neutral ones instead. I thought I could actually personalize this myself. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Obviously I haven't done it for this year, but hopefully for next year I can get that organized. So I have a son, he is four years old and also have a daughter that's two years old. So um, they tend to like similar things and they will fight if they don't have similar things. So as you see, um, as I'm showing you these items that I bought for them, they are very similar or identical or because otherwise they will fight and they'll end up wanting each other's things. So you may see some duplications in what I'm showing you, but I hope it will still give you some ideas as to what to put in your kids' stockings in case you are still running around trying to put last minute things in there or getting, trying to think of last minute ideas to put in the stocking. So that was a very long intro. I'm sorry about that. Let's get in and I'm going to show you what I got. So because there's a lot of duplication or similar things in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I got my son and then also what I got for my daughter kind of at the same time. Um, so you don't have to re-watch the same items again if that makes sense. So the first things I'm going to show you is like some edible items that I'm putting in their stockings. I'm not putting too many sweets in there because they're still quite young and I don't think they need too many sweets. Um, I'm sure they're going to be eating a lot of food on Christmas Day. So I don't think they need too many extra sweets in their stocking. But the first thing that I'm getting them is this pop-up lollipop. So it looks like this. This one is for Christopher. Obviously, it's a green bird. And what you do with this is you um, push this little lever up and the bird reveals a lollipop. So I thought that was super cute. So this one is Christopher's, like I said. So he's getting a green one and Adriana is getting a purple one. Next thing they're getting is one of these Pez. Um, lolly dispensers, I think that's what they're called. But this Christmas themed one this year. So this is the Grinch um, character. So this one's Christopher's, this one's Adriana's. Um, so that's what they look like. So you put the little Pez lollies inside this little container here. And as you open the mouth, it releases one Pez each or at a time. So they're getting one of these each. And the next thing they're getting is these surprise eggs. Um, my kids are obsessed with Paw Patrol, especially my son. You'll see in you'll see in this video and also in what I'm getting my kids for Christmas video, which I'll also be filming today. Um, you'll see a lot of Paw Patrol items because my son is obsessed with it. But I'm getting them the surprise egg, so Paw Patrol theme. 
So blue one is obviously for my son and the pinky purple one is for my daughter Adriana. So these are just little surprise eggs. Um, they have jelly beans inside them as well. And I'm assuming they have like a little character toy in there too. So we'll see when they open this to see exactly what's inside. But yeah, they're getting one of these each as well. The next thing they're getting is some bath bombs. My kids love bath bombs and it makes bath really fun. It smells really good. So I don't mind them using bath bombs now and again. So Christopher's getting this blue macaroon um, shaped one. And these ones are actually from Cotton On Kids. Um, so they used to have a whole heap of these ones, but I think they're getting rid of this type of stock, which was um, disappointing, but these were actually only $2 each because they are getting rid of their bath bombs. So this one is the blue one, and this one's a banana scented bath fizzer. So this one is Adriana's there. So again, this one was from Cotton On Kids, and these were only $2 each, which was a really good buy. The next thing they're getting is a spin toothbrush. My daughter is obsessed with these ones and I'm still trying to encourage Christopher to use a spin brush. I think it's a better way to clean your teeth. I've been using a spin um, toothbrush for years now and I absolutely love it. And I definitely notice the difference when I go to a manual toothbrush compared to a spin toothbrush. So I really want to encourage the kids to start using um, spin toothbrushes as well. So I got Christopher a Paw Patrol one of course because like I said he is, he is obsessed. So this one is with Chase, which is the police um, pup. So that's the brush he's getting. And Adriana's just getting a Barbie one like that. And I think she'll get a kick out of this. Um, every time she sees toothbrushes in the store, she wants to grab one off the shelf. I don't know what it is, she just loves toothbrushes. So I'm sure she'll be happy to see this in her stocking. The next thing they're getting is these fingerlings and I've seen these everywhere. My nieces have these and I just didn't understand the hype of them. But once I saw how they work and what they do, I thought they were super cute. And my kids actually have the, is it called the live pets? The little birds that can tweet and they talk back to you. Um, you can get like a little cage for them and things like that. Anyways, Adriana has... Um, Adriana has like the little birds and they love them. They play with them all the time. So I thought this was something similar to that um, and something that they will enjoy as well. So I got Christopher the black one um, with the little blue like top of hair. So these ones I actually got from Kama and these were only $15. Um, and then Adriana's getting the pinky one with the yellow little top of hair there. So again, these were only $15 from Kmart. So a really cute buy. And I think I actually have to take them out of the box because I don't think this will fit in the stocking. I'll try and show you at the end of the video of me packing the stocking together. Um, so if you want to see that video, stay tuned until the end of the video. And I'll show you how I'm going to actually put everything in the stocking. And hopefully it will all fit. The next thing they're getting is just a DVD each. So we are actually going away on holidays right after Christmas, so on Boxing Day. Um, so a lot of the items I got for Christmas actually are like travel friendly gifts um, because I want them to use them when we're going away. I find if you give kids new toys or new things to do in the car and when you're away, they get more excited about it because it's something new um, they haven't played with before. So um, that's the kind of idea behind getting them getting them like travel friendly gifts this year because we are going away. We're actually headed off to Queensland um, for a really nice, relaxing and well-deserving holiday this year. So I can't wait for that. Anyways, this is the reason why I am giving them a DVD each so they can watch this in the car while we're driving there. So Christopher is getting the Paw Patrol one. And I chose this one because it also has an episode of Blaze, and he loves Blaze as well as Paw Patrol. He, he pretty much likes them equally, um, so it's great that they have Blaze and Paw Patrol in the one DVD. So he's getting that one. And Adriana is getting Curious George because she loves Curious George. She could sit there and watch this for hours if I let her. She just finds him really entertaining, so I'm sure she'll really like this DVD as well. The next thing I'm getting them is probably a little bit of a funny gift, but 
I just thought it'd be something cute to add to their stocking. And it's just some gel ice packs. So my kids obviously are quite little and they fall over and they get lots of bumps and bruises on them. So I thought um, this will come in handy to put in the freezer and, you know, treat their little bumps and bruises that they do get. So Christopher is getting a Paw Patrol one that looks like that. And Adriana is getting a princess themed ice pack. That looks like that. So these were only like a couple of dollars from Big W. And I wasn't actually planning on putting these in their stocking. But I happened to go down an aisle and see them. And I just grabbed them. As you do, it's an impulse buy. But I thought it would be a cute little addition to the stocking anyways. The next thing they're getting is a little bauble of underwear. <laughs> these are so cute. I actually found these in Aldi. Um, and I thought it would be a perfect addition for a stocking, especially as the kids actually do need underwear. Adriana is in the process of being toilet trained, so she needed underwear anyways, and, and Christopher needed some extra ones anyway, so this was perfect. So, again, Christopher is getting a Paw Patrol bauble of undies. So that's what they look like. It's got a three-pack in here, um, and these are just briefs. That's what they look like inside. And I think these were only like $7 for the bauble, which is pretty good. And Adriana's getting the Paw Patrol one as well, but this is obviously for girls. So she gets three little undies in there as well. So the next thing they're getting is just a pack of band-aids because like I said, they get bumps and bruises and these are always needed in the house. So Christopher's just getting the Minion themed um, band-aids and Adriana's getting the Frozen themed band-aids. She likes to play with these even if she doesn't have anything, like even if she doesn't have a cut or a bruise or something on her leg. She just loves to stick this all over her body so I'm sure she'll love these. She thinks they're stickers. <laughs> The next thing they're getting, again, this is for something they can use when we're traveling. And it's just a pack of snap play cards. So Christopher is getting the Paw Patrol one. That looks like that. And Adriana is getting the princess theme snap cards. And I got these during the Black Friday sale. So they were heavily discounted. So that was really good. The next thing they're getting is just a thing of bubbles because they love bubbles um, and we needed some refills anyways for our big bubble machine so I just thought I'll add these to the stocking as well. The next thing I got is the Club Chelsea, the Club Chelsea little dolls. Um, so Adriana has a really big wooden doll house that she got for her birthday this year. I'll try and insert a picture somewhere here so you can see what it looks like. Um, but she's been playing with the lorry dolls inside that doll house. But when I was looking around for gifts for kids, I actually found a little boy doll um, that I thought Christopher would like to use in the doll house. Because he loves playing with the doll house as well. And I thought he would enjoy um, having a boy character um, while he was playing with it. So I got him the boy version and then I just picked up Adriana a little girl one too. And I thought this one was super cute because it actually looks like Adriana's colouring. Um, with the light brown hair and the big eyes. It actually looks like her in a way. Um, except that her hair isn't this long. So these are going in their stocking as well. So I've got two more things left. Sorry guys, I'm sorry if this is going to be a long video. The next thing they're getting... I Again, this is something that um, I'm putting in there for our holiday purpose. So like a travel friendly little game. So Adriana is getting this magnet foam fishing game. So again, the size of it is perfect because it's great for traveling. Um, but we've got this game at home, a lot bigger in size. And she absolutely loves it. So I'm sure she'll enjoy playing with this in the car and while we're on holidays. So that's for Adriana and Christopher's getting the scavenger hunt for kids game. So I thought this would be really cool for him as well. So he can either use this inside the house or when we're out and about in the car. It includes over a hundred cars in here so I'm sure um, he'll get a kick out of this little game here. So there's little games they're getting in their stocking as well. And the last thing they're getting in the stocking is just like a little thing to play with. So Christopher will be getting the, so it's this Treasure X um, little toy here. So what you need to do, sorry I hope that focuses. 
So what you need to do is actually dig for the treasure inside this like rock, I'm assuming, to get a little figurine. And there's 24 of these to collect. Um, he actually saw this in the shop today and he really wanted to buy one. When when I told him what he needs to do with it, he really wanted one and he said if he could ask Santa for one. So I think he'll be really excited when he sees this in his stocking. Um, so yeah, it says you need to find the map, rip the gold layer, use the coin on your quest, uncover the digging tool, dig and chip the rock, discover bones and weapons, build your treasure hunter, find the treasure chest, add water to fizz, and reveal your treasure. So there's heaps actually to do um, on this little thing. So it will keep him busy for a while and keep him entertained as well. So I thought that was a great gift for a little boy. And Adriana's going to be getting this pop cake, uh, what are these called? This pop cake surprise. So this is what this looks like. And I actually remember having one of these when I was a little girl and it was so fun. Um, so this one actually does pop. There's ones that you can buy. There's just like a cupcake little figurine that you can um, flip out and the little girl comes out. But this one actually does pop up. So if you can see that in the picture there, that will focus. There we go. So she'll be getting one of these little cupcake um, surprises. So that is everything they will be getting in their stocking this year. I hope you have found it helpful and interesting to watch. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items were your favourite or if it gave you some ideas to add to your child's um, stocking for this year. And that is all for my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.